each banner. Need to check three, four, five, five, and three, four, five, six. Represents a name. Is it Keith Yokum? Yes. Of the men and women who died serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. When we talk about a number, it's just a number, but these are actual lives that have been lost in this war. One by one. All of these strips, nearly 7,000, will be strung up. Volunteers have spent hours writing the first and last names of each U.S. service member along with the date they died. Once they're done with their stacks of 50, it's just wrapped up and labeled so that we know where it will go in the final installation. Ellen Rogers is an artist. She plans to display the project on her family's property here in Amesbury in time for Memorial Day. We don't talk about the wars that are going on now. We, it's not in part of our daily lives unless you have someone in the military. And I thought, I need to do some more artwork about this. By the time it's done, this field will be filled with 20 rows. Each one will be 120 feet long. The feedback I've gotten has been wonderful. Not just the volunteers giving their time and energy, but people just being excited that someone is remembering these soldiers who get not passed over, but they don't get the attention that they deserve. So far, they have about 4,000 done, but they still need help in order to get the project completed before the holiday. We still need volunteers if people can come and help us with the installation. We're gonna be starting Wednesday. Hoping those who see the display will never forget the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice this Memorial Day. People will be able to come through, look at the size, look how many there are. I hope that in some ways it will be a way of healing for the families of people who have lost sons and daughters. In Amesbury, Diane Cho, WCVB News Center 5.